Is it possible that Boruto Naruto Next Generation's anime is getting ready to show us the Mitsuki side story? In Boruto Naruto Next Generation's episode 11, it finally gave us a look into the villain that is causing people around the Hidden Leaf Village to be possessed. By the general look of things, the villain seems to have an Ambu mask, or some type of Ambu related mask, which does indeed tie into what Sai said about the culprit being someone from the Foundation, aka the founders of the Ambu Black Ops, which were Danzo and his team, basically. And after seeing how the villain was disguised, this assumption seems very, very possible. Aside from that, the villain supposedly also has Hashirama cells within him, due to the fact that two incident scenes showed traces of wood-style jutsu being used. So, could our villain be one of Danzo's foundation members after all, seeking revenge on the Hidden Leaf Village? I think it may just be that. But, when we are dealing with Hashirama DNA, we also have to look at another possible culprit. That culprit could be Orochimaru, but not in the way you think. Obviously, we know Orochimaru has messed around with Hashirama DNA before, more specifically with Yamato being one of his test subjects, that can use wood style pretty efficiently. Now, calm down, I'm not saying that Yamato is the culprit, but perhaps one of Orochimaru's test subjects is the one to blame here. The reason I think this is because of Mitsuki and his mysterious relationship with the villain, which was kind of shown off in this week's episode. Mitsuki had the chance to stop the villain, but he let him go, and even gave him a smile. Obviously, Mitsuki has to know something here. Obviously, it has to. In Boruto episode 4, which is where Mitsuki showed up for the first time, he also came at a very mysterious moment, which was at the end of the episode, right where the beast that Boruto summoned, in quotations, summoned, because I don't think Boruto actually summoned him. Um, but yeah, Mitsuki showed up right where he was defeated. In the shadows, of course. This is just another one of those moments where Mitsuki has shown up at strange times where the dark chakra has appeared, and he pays a lot of attention to what Boruto is doing, which brings us to the sun and moon dilemma. As we know, Mitsuki is supposedly looking for his son, and that son seems to be Boruto. If you guys remember, in the Mitsuki side story, both Orochimaru and adult Mitsuki talk about young Mitsuki, aka our Mitsuki that we know now, about finding his son, in which it will lead him into the light. That connection being in the anime already can't just be there for nothing. The anime, the anime has to be setting up for the Mitsuki side story, and even if the main villain isn't connected to Orochimaru at all, I still truly believe that we are getting to his side story very, very soon. One also thing to note is Mitsuki's sage mode. When in sage mode, the chakra snakes around him look very, very similar to those that are possessing the hidden leaf people. I know it's random, but it's something I wanted to add in uh, to back up this theory a bit more. But, again, it's just a theory. And uh, theories aside, looking at episode 11 as a whole, it was pretty damn epic. What really got me hyped was the mailman boss using a jutsu similar to that of Conan. It was pretty cool to just look at the male wrecking shit up and having the formation similar to that of Conan whenever she used her paper jutsu. And that being said, the mailman didn't really do much and he did get wrecked very, very easily, which was expected. One other thing I really liked about this episode was Shino. He came in at the time when we needed him the most. Which was when Naruto was telling Boruto, Shikadai and Mitsuki uh, to stop investigating the ghost thing. And um, Shino came in and told Naruto basically that um, this is Boruto Naruto Next Generations, not Naruto Shippuden. That train is over, sadly, but it's over. So, I mean, it's acceptable really. Naruto is the Hokage and he's acting like one. And this scene really shows that Naruto knows what the f he's doing. But, you know, this is Boruto Naruto Next Generations. We gotta see these, these new generation of ninja solve the investigation. And that's what Shino did. But that being said, Naruto will always be a god, and yeah. Overall, this episode really got things moving in terms of plot progression. We now have more clues as to who our villain may be, but we also get more questions raised as to why Mitsuki is being so damn mysterious. That being said, what were your guys' thoughts on Boruto episode 11? What do you think, or who do you think, our villain could be? If I were to place a guess right here and right now, I'd probably say this is indeed one of Danzo's foundation members since this arc isn't really canon, it's more anime only based. But of course the, the arc has 
um, canon material such as Boruto's Dojutsu, which, you know, we're gonna find out more about it in the manga eventually. But, again, this has to be one of Danzo's members. That's what I'm thinking, you know, it's hinted at. And if it is, and if he is defeated eventually, you know, it wouldn't impact the story too much. Uh, but I still think that the stuff with Mitsuki, where we're gonna get really, really close to the Mitsuki side story soon. If not, maybe perhaps the Scarlet Spring story as well. So, yeah, man. World 2 Anime is getting slightly more hyped. And, yeah, what are your guys' thoughts? I do hope you enjoyed. And, uh, yeah. Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen.